Hey everyone. What's up y'all? It's Miner. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far to this channel. Everyone who's been commenting, liking. Thanks to everyone who has been uh, reaching out. Uh, I've got a lot of people who I haven't spoken to in a very long time reaching out and uh, it's been great. You've all, you're all really super sweet and I appreciate you. I spent this past weekend with the Gruel Brothers. We're working on releasing something new. We're gonna get set to start recording it. We're, for right now, we're gonna try to do it ourselves. Last one we did ourselves and we had it mixed. This time, we're gonna try to tackle it ourselves a bit. So that'll be really cool. Hung out with Distance the other day. We got together at Cold War Studios in Grand Rapids. That's a studio that's run by Rick Johnson out of Michigan. We are also pretty busy trying to get some stuff together. So keep an eye out for that when that starts coming together. So I spent some time with my brother this past weekend. We started looking at old videos from our old bands. Watching these videos, seeing all these these memories brought up a lot of feelings that I know I get. And that's that the past freaks me out. I have to face the way I looked back then. I have to face the way my behavior is, which in some videos was pretty embarrassing. There were some instances where I was pretty bad at music, but I think I recognize them more as growing pains of someone who was working on what they were trying to be as a musician. There are some early clips of when me and Steve were trying to start a pop punk band when we were in high school, and it's not very good. I can see that this video is 15 years old, and when you see comments that remind you that you aren't very good, <laughs> there are a lot of bad decisions that I have made that exist on the internet. Steve, do you have any embarrassing music on the internet? Oh, tons. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm a different person than when I was there, but it kind of freaks me out. I've forgotten so many of these moments. And there's a lot of moments that used to exist on the internet that don't anymore. And that's kind of upsetting to me too. So I keep having this realization that, oh, I've lost a lot of things. And I thought I didn't care about them, but I kind of miss them. I wish I did have them. So I'm trying to face the reality of past me, no matter how embarrassing it is, no matter how hard it is to listen to me try to sing things that I cannot sing, it's no different now. There are still these moments of just cringe with myself or what feels like embarrassment that I feel like I gotta get over, which is what I'm doing here now and this is what I've been doing, uh, trying to get over this feeling of like, don't look at me. Uh, despite doing things that involve, look at me. Zach, do you have any embarrassing music on the internet? Oh yeah, so much. Would, would you name any? No. <laughs> Even as an adult now looking back, feeling embarrassed on those moments, I think sometimes the past might freak me out because nostalgia can be scary and it can also be a trap. I want to repeat the greatness in that nostalgia, and I think that's something that a lot of us experience. I wasn't so concerned about how embarrassed I would be in the future about taking these videos, about being in these places, about playing these shows. And now here I am on YouTube doing the same thing again. This is what, day, technically day two of recording, but we are starting completely over because Fuzzy's computer died or something, I don't know. Oh, to put our hearts into our album and make it 10 times better than it was before. So I ran into a channel. There are these videos posted by someone who I used to know in the Northwest Indiana and Illinois scene. If you ever played shows in Northwest Indiana or in, in the Chicagoland area, possibly at Mojo's back in the day when it was in Tinley Park or in Orland Park, or possibly at Stand Up Comics before it ended up becoming Royal Skate and Apparel, she might have a video of your band on there. If you roll through the list, I mean, it spans years, it spans hundreds of videos. There are bigger names, there are smaller names. I've got a few of my band's videos on there. We found a few Watch the Sky videos on there. Tomorrow Has Arrived, The Summer Fight. I highly recommend looking through this list of videos. There's a lot of really cool stuff on there. But yeah, check her channel out. There's a bunch of videos on there of old venues that I forgot about bands that I forgot about. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below as well. I highly recommend it. Don't skip over it. Check it out. I'm going to remind everyone that I'm on Downright. You can hire me to write a song for you. Right now, they're advertising Valentine's Day songs. So do you want me to write a love song for you? I could write you a, a great love song. Oh, fortune cookie, you are my puppy. 
I love you so much. Will you kiss me? So see you again next week. Appreciate you being here today. In the words of Zach. Like, comment, subscribe. There you go. <laughs> Thanks again. See you all next week. Take care. Say bye, Steve. Or sorry, still water. <laughs> oh, really?